Ah, the Harley Davidson rumors are gathering pace. But what new motorcycles for 2024? Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're all well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. And don't forget to check out the website revelatoralpha.com for all the latest biking news. So, Harley Davidson, the iconic American motorcycle manufacturer, which motorcycles are they going to bring out for 2024? Now, as we know, Harley Davidson don't release any information during the autumn for their 2024 bikes. Virtually every other manufacturer does. Uh, they give us an insight of what's coming or they will specify exactly what's coming. However, Harley Davidson, they do wait until January to give us uh, that information. And even then, they don't give us the full lineup for 2024. They tend to drip feed the rest of the models throughout the year just as they did with the Icon Bike and Enthusiast range for 2023. And let's not forget the CVO as well. But what about for 2024? I suppose we really should be thinking about what we should expect and what the vague rumors are rather than what is actual fact, because we don't really know at this stage. And it's still too early to be getting leaks out of the factory or leaks from third party vendors to see what is actually happening. Now, you can expect over the next two or three weeks, color options and codings, let's say, for 2024, so you get a good idea of what might be happening with your favorite model. But what can we expect? So there have been some rumors and there have been some projections that the touring lineup is going to be changed. That is the Rogue Glide Special, the Rogue Glide, the Street Glide Special, uh, Street Glide, and of course, the uh, Road King Special. Now, does this mean that they're going to get a brand new uh, engine change? Does it mean that they're going to get new styling? Well, possibly the Road Glide and the uh, Street Glide are going to get new styling because of the CVOs from this year. Does it mean that the existing Road Glide and Street Glide are going to get a 121 engine? I, I think that's highly unlikely. They're possibly looking at either a 114 with variable valve timing or even stepping up to a 117. The problem is if they step up to a 117 engine, then that's going to directly impact the sales and the uh, demand for the STs, the Road Glide ST and the Street Glide ST. So which way are they are going to go? You're probably looking at a consolidation of the 114 engine, possibly even coming with variable valve timing. But most likely, we're looking at a suspension upgrade and a styling uh, change for the Road Glide and the Street Glide, as opposed to any big performance boost. It may be that they go up to a 117 as well, but anything beyond that, I think we could all agree that they're probably shooting themselves in the foot and affecting the sales or the future sales uh, or the residuals on the CVOs as well. Okay, let's look at the other models. What about in the cruiser lineup for the soft tails? Are there going to be any changes there? Well, again, early indications are that actually, no, the existing models aren't really going to get much of a change. While some websites out there and some predictors have basically said that the certain models will get some changes, a lot of this information is rather woolly. It doesn't really add up and it doesn't hold up to closer scrutiny. However, you can safely say that every model is probably going to get a little tweak here and there when i say tweak you're probably talking about color changes maybe some uh, options changes those kinds of things but big changes to the uh, the existing models possibly not However, we may see uh, a reintroduction of an older model or we may see uh, a model that is actually discontinued. It's not to say that one of the existing models may get an engine upgrade, just let's say the breakout went up to a 117 for 2023. Maybe we're going to see another model in the soft tails. Uh, they'll go up to a 117. And it has been rumored that the Sport Glide is actually going to stay around for another year and it's probably going to get into a 114 engine as well. Again, this is all all very early rumors right now and none of it is with substance right now okay let's get on to the revolution max engine uh, bikes as well for 2023 there was strong rumors that the pan america was going to get a smaller engine or another variant of the pan america and that would be in a 975 cc that never came uh, we've been waiting all year for an announcement of the pan america 975 now whether they've just abandoned this or whether it's never really on the cards in the first place we're really not sure however there is a strong indication that the 975 Pan America will be uh, coming out for 2024. Now, whether that'll be for the January launch or whether they'll drip feed that later in the year, 
that again yet to be seen now also there were some mutterings which i saw last week of uh, another revolution max engine coming out for 2024 and more of a street and performance based motorcycle now does this mean that this is going to be the fabled bronx that is going to come out again yet to be seen whether it will come out with a 975 engine whether it come out with a 1250 engine whether it will be a highly tuned 1250 engine that's yet to be seen but as i say you know we're, we're projecting that there will be a 975 uh, pan america and there will be another revolution max engine in the model lineup now a discussion we we're having a couple of years ago is whether the revolution max engine from harley dev so whether that would find itself moving into the soft tail lineup or into the Tora lineup in other words building a motorcycle that kind of resembles the soft tails but actually is with the revolution max engine and so with the touring lineup as well again mutterings of this uh, motorcycle as well has started to surface again whether that will come off uh, who knows but certainly looks more likely there's going to be changes to the m8s uh, with the tourers the road glide and the uh, street glide whether the roking special will get anything it's uh, yet to be seen and whether there'll be any substantial changes in the soft tail lineup as well now one final model that we know was released in india the x440 and the, the question is whether that model is going to go to other markets whether that's going to go to europe or certainly to the united states as well now harley davidson went into partnership with hero motor corp of india to produce the x440 it is believed that hero are going to come out with another variant of that x440 if you like for the indian market and there are other motorcycles that are coming out of this partnership as well larger motorcycles or different variants with this same engine whether those motorcycles will come to other markets has yet to be seen but keep an eye out for more motorcycles that are going to be uh, coming out of the Indian collaboration and possibly even with the Chinese collaboration the x350 and the x500 are of note so as I said right at the start all this is rumor nothing substantial as yet but you can expect over the next two or three weeks certainly a month or so more information to be coming out more opinion more rumor and more speculation and as we get closer and closer to january then we're going to have uh, more substantial leaks uh, that we're going to hear about possibly still be none the wiser until the actual reveal date but there we go that's uh, for harley davidson for 2024 let us know what you think that they should be bringing out for next year and what do you hope that they will be bringing out and also what do you think or hope they'll be getting rid of as well let us know your thoughts, but if you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell for all future videos, and check out the website revelatoralf.com for all the latest biking news, all the latest press releases from all the motorcycle manufacturers are uh, immediately displayed on there for your, uh, for your viewing. Right, and I'll catch you again. Bye now.